What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to our piano tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be really, really simple as we're just going over the C major scale and we're going to begin learning how to build a chord. Now, you will notice that I do not have my keyboard with me out. Uh, that's because we will not need our keyboard in order to find this scale. Uh, so, the C major scale. And I do realize that in the last video that the camera had uh, cut off some of the writing. I do apologize for that. So I will do my best this video to try to keep it inside the frame. So the C major scale it is simple. We start on our root and if you do not know what the root note is, I do uh, ask that you go and check out the last tutorial video that I have done. So we start on the root note which is C and we introduced the concept of the number system last video. So I'm going to number one which is root, two, three, Four, and I'm going to stop there. Uh, so our root note is C. Number two would be D. Three is E. And four is F. Okay? Now I'm going to show you the trick or the formula, if you will, um, as to how to find the notes on a major scale. So just like in math class, music has a formula. And if you memorize this formula, then you will automatically uh, be able to look at the keyboard and figure out all of the major scales. So, uh, so like this, major scale formula. And if you remember last video, I introduced the concept of whole steps and half steps, right? We're going to abbreviate this, so for whole we're going to use W, and for half we're just going to use H. And of course for root note, and you have already seen me do this, I'm going to use an R. Okay? So, let's learn the formula. The formula for the major scale is simple. You start on the root, and you go a whole step, another whole step, and then you're going to take a half step. Okay? So if our root note is C, and we take a whole step, the next note would be D. We take another whole step, it'll be E. And remember, in between E and F, there is not a note, so we got to take a half step and we'll land on F. Okay? So this is the first four. This is the first four, uh, part of the formula. After this half step, we're going to take another whole step, another whole step, another whole step, and can you guess what's going to come next? A half step. Okay? So if we go from F and we hit, uh, we make a whole step from F, you're going to get G. If you take a whole step, you're going to land on A. If you take a whole step, you're going to land on B. And just like up here, where in between E and F, there's not a note, in between B and C, there is not a note, so we got to take a half step, and we're going to land back on the root. Okay? So, let's wrap up the C major scale. And I'm also going to review the formula. So the notes to the C major scale is C, D, oops, sorry, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? These are the notes to the C major scale. Okay? And we're going to learn the abbreviations and stuff. Um, soon. Um, so after this, we're going to also look at the formula, and this formula works for any major scale, okay? Just a major, not the minor, just a major. And so the formula is root whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay? So that's the formula to any major scale and we also learn the notes to the C major scale.
So I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, in our next video, we're going to be bringing back the keyboard and actually looking at the C major scale on the piano. I did say in the introduction that we was going to go over the, um, the to begin to look at the major. Uh, to see uh, how to build a chord. Um, we do not have time for that in this video, but we will look at it in the next video. So again, as always, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm really pushing for these extra 10 subscribers to get to my goal of 200 subscribers. Um, so any support will help. If you like this video, please like it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you next time for our next tutorial.